Hey everybody, this week let's check out a clone of the ODR1 overdrive pedal. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Before I get started this week, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe down below and also hit that bell icon so you get all of my notifications. When it comes to overdrive pedals for your guitar, there are some pretty common ones out there. A lot of times you'll hear folks having the Klon Centaur or something like the Klon Centaur. Uh, similar, the King of Tone by Analog Man. That's a very popular overdrive pedal out there. But by far the most popular one out there, at least in my book, is the Ibanez Tube Screamer. Now Ibanez does many different versions of the Tube Screamer. Uh, probably most people would know the TS9 or the TS808. And lots of other companies have, we'll say, knockoffs of a Tube Screamer. Uh, what we're looking at today is the Nobleman or the Nobles ODR1 overdrive, which is kind of a different take on the Tube Screamer circuit. I've went ahead and built mine out on some strip board here, but first I want to talk a little bit about the ODR1, what it is, how it's similar to a Tube Screamer, and how it's different. And to do that, I want to take a look at the circuits. So I've went ahead and downloaded the schematic for the Noble ODR1. Uh, this one's actually labeled Nobleman ODR Uno, which is uh, a little bit different than maybe the Nobles ODR1 schematic. I'll talk about where that is a little later. Um, what I want to do is compare this to the Tube Screamer circuit. I was able to find a true bypass schematic for the Tube Screamer. So most Tube Screamers have an active bypass. Uh, Electro Smash here has done a good job in just uh, changing that bypass to true bypass so we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Noble and the Tube Screamer. So I have our schematic side-by-side -side and I want to zoom in on each section of the Noble and the Tube Screamer so you can see how these are very similar and maybe some differences as well. So let's zoom in on the left here for the Noble and we'll zoom in on the right for the Tube Screamer. I'll pull that over. So the first thing, the easiest thing to explain is the power supply section. You see it up here, I'm circling with my mouse uh, on the Noble and then down here on the uh, lower left hand corner uh, of the Tube Screamer schematic. Essentially these are doing the same thing. Uh, we do see some different components but more or less doing the exact same thing. What we're trying to do is have a 9 volt supply and make sure that that's stable with a capacitor which is why you see that 47 microfarad capacitor here. Uh, the same thing can be said on the Tube Screamer circuit. We have a 100 uh, microfarad capacitor here, stabilizing that nine volt supply. Uh, also we have for uh, polarity protection, a diode in both cases. So very similar there to create our nine volt supply. In both power supply sections, we also have a voltage divider to give us a four and a half volt supply. In the Nobles, we're using a 15K and 15K resistor in series and then tapping out the center to get our four and a half volts. Uh, the Tube Screamer does the same thing, except it uses two 10Ks in series and taps in the center here. Again, for the uh, Tube Screamer, we're using a 47 microfarad capacitor and we're using that same 47 microfarad capacitor in the Nobles as well. And again, this is just to stabilize that 4.5 voltage so it doesn't fluctuate. So let's look at the input stage of both of these overdrive circuits. In both cases, we have an input buffer. So you can see here made with a JFET on the Nobles on the left side and with a BJT with the Tube Screamer here on the right side. Essentially, this buffer is just making sure we have high input resistance to uh, basically maintain the fidelity of the signal. We're not cutting off any, um, any of the high frequencies or treble side of the sound as it moves through the rest of the circuit. The second stage, in both cases here, we have a gain and clipping stage. Uh, you can see here it's very, very similar. Um, we both are using a 4558 op amp in the non-inverting gain mode. Uh, we have diodes that are clipping in the feedback loop. So this is soft clipping, as well as a capacitor here and a gain potentiometer. You're gonna see a little bit different values, some different diodes as well. 
the Tube Screamer uses the MA150, uh, 4148s for the Nobles, a couple different capacitor values and obviously the different value of the potentiometer, but for the most part this stage uh, is exactly the same, it's just going to give you maybe a little bit different tone, a little bit more distortion on one side or the other. One thing to note on the Nobleman is this 470 ohm resistor into a 0.47 microfarad capacitor. This is unique to the Nobleman. In the Nobles ODR1, this is actually omitted. And then there's also a, another item or another uh, Noble type overdrive that has a 220 ohm, and I believe it's a 2.2 microfarad capacitor here. Um, this is uh, for the plus model, I believe, of the Noble Overdrive. So in the next stage for the Nobles and the Tube Screamer is where we start to see some differences. Um, I'm not going to get into how the tone breakdown here works because the next stage is the tone stage. For the Tube Screamer, if you want to learn a little bit more about how these components change the frequency response, uh, you should check out electrosmash.com. They go over it really well. I'll link it down below. Um, I believe Aeon Electronics does a good job of explaining what's going on in the Nobles. What you really need to know here is in the Tube Screamer, you're getting a uh, mid boost tone circuit. So it's really looking at shifting some gain towards the middle frequencies. In the Nobles, you're getting a mid boost, or I should say an upper mid boost really, but that's going to be added on top of what comes out of here using the tone potentiometer, which is essentially allowing you to pan between a low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of about 700 hertz and a high pass filter with a cutoff frequency of about 5 kilohertz. In both cases, it's using a 4558 or the other side of a 4558 amplifier to achieve that. This would be your uh, low pass, high pass part of the tone circuit. This would be more for your mid boost uh, side of the tone circuit. That brings us to the final stage of both of the uh, ODR and the Tube Screamer. Um, on the right with the Tube Screamer, you can see after the tone circuit, we go into an output buffer, which is uh, done via a BJT, similar to the input buffer that the Tube Screamer had. On the Nobles, because we've used two 4558 op amps here, they come in packages of two. We've used three of four. I would say this is why Nobles went ahead and used an op amp buffer here. And that's just to save components or leverage the one existing op amp that wasn't being used uh, when we implemented that second 4558 package. So yeah, in both cases, if I zoom back out here, The Tube Screamer and the Nobles are more or less the same circuit uh, with the exception of their, their tone stage. You're going to have an input buffer into a gain and clipping stage with soft clipping in the feedback loop. We have our unique tone circuits for both of them into an output buffer. Now again, the output buffer is done a little bit different, as is the input buffer. One uses a JFET versus a BJT, the other one uses a BJT versus an op amp. So a couple differences, but for more or less, the Nobles or the Nobleman is just a little bit different take on the Tube Screamer circuit. Now that you know that the ODR1 is essentially a Tube Screamer with a more complex tone stage, you might want to check it out, especially if you're getting bored with your Tube Screamer at home or your Tube Screamer like pedal. I went ahead and built out mine here, which again, I've called the Rio Drive. I, I said in the beginning, I built this one out on a strip board. Uh, you can see I do have a uh, Ruli Wow pinout for my three pole double throw switch. And I've also added my mod switch here, which I'll just talk about briefly to go along with the level tone and drive that we looked at in the schematic. So the mod switch here is essentially going to do something that I found online. Um, like I said in the beginning, the Nobles ODR1 comes in a few different varieties. Uh, I said there was one called the Nobleman, one called the Plus, and essentially the differences between those circuits are how that gain clipping stage is modified. Um, this essentially just changes some components in the feedback loop, which will change that non-inverting amplifier's gain, 
Um, do a little bit with the tone, not so much, but uh, what I'm gonna get is essentially more, t more drive when I put this in the down position. I'm probably gonna get the least amount of drive in the middle position, and then in the uh, upper position, I'm gonna kinda get the in-between drive. Um, this again is just a on off on switch. Uh, there's only three lugs and I'll kind of zoom in there if we can see it. It's maybe hidden a little bit by the audio jack, but just three lugs and uh, yeah, it gives you a couple different options to go with the uh, original schematic. Before I give you guys a demo of the pedal, I just wanted to quickly touch on that uh, again, I built this out with strip board, but if you don't want to do that, if you're looking for a PCB that will do something similar, maybe without the mod, um, Aeon Electronics, which I'll link below, does have a PCB that they sell. I think they also incorporate a base toggle or a base um, knob. I can't remember if it's a toggle or a knob, but uh, it might give you something a little bit different than the original ODR, which I'll also link below. So definitely take a look at that if you're looking to build out a clone. Um, you can do it in many different ways.
hope you guys enjoyed the demo of my clone for the Nobles ODR1 overdrive pedal. Definitely something a little bit different than a Tube Screamer. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, you can definitely hit me up down below. Also remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.